My name is Paul Wolver. I'm the owner of Pinellas Power Products. And this is my extended runtime fuel kit for generators that run the Chinese-made 145cc engine. That would include the Pulsar PGD40 ISCO and the Max Speeding Rod MXR3500. Uh, and there are probably some others that I'm not aware of yet. At any rate, uh, the first question that I'm usually asked about my kit is, can I run it from the stock tank? And the answer is absolutely yes. You'll run it exactly the same way as you did before you installed my kit. If you install my kit, then it comes with all the parts that are inside the generator now. If you want more information on that, go to my installation instruction video. There's a link down below that has a description and it says go to PinellasPowerProducts.com. Go to that and watch the installation instruction video. If it doesn't answer all the questions, don't hesitate to call me. That's what I'm there for. Uh, so at any rate, my kit comes with the parts that are inside the generator. It comes with an additional fuel quick disconnect port and that will be attached to your remote tank. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be demonstrating it with a 29 gallon fuel caddy. So, in order to run it off of the remote tank, it's pretty straightforward and simple. The hose has an arrow on the prime bulb pointing in the direction of fuel flow, an arrow on the quick disconnect generator end pointing in the direction of fuel flow, and an arrow on the fuel tank end pointing in the direction of fuel flow. So you'll hook the fuel tank end up, then hook the generator end up. If your fuel tank has a manual shutoff valve, make sure that the valve is open so the generator can get fuel. If your tank has a manual fuel tank vent, make sure that that is open so your generator can get fuel. Then come over to the generator and move the fuel selector valve to the run position. And what that does is it opens up the valve between the fuel tank and the carburetor. We're going to pump this because when you first got the hose and hooked it up, it was full of air, not gas. So we're going to pump this until you feel gasoline coming through it and it's going to pump the gasoline into the stock tank and that's just enough to get it primed don't uh, don't go trying to fill it or whatever so this one here is already full so at this point we're going to move the fuel selector knob to the yellow dot that we put on it during the installation process the run position turns on spark or ignition and turns on the fuel. The red dot shuts off ignition or spark and shuts off fuel. The yellow dot that we put on there shuts off the fuel but it still has spark so the engine will run. That's the position you're going to run it off of the remote tank. The reason we do not want the stock tank flowing fuel and the remote tank flowing fuel is because that would be almost as dangerous as the cap systems. If you've got a large tank as a remote tank, in this case a 29 gallon tank, flowing fuel into the one gallon stock tank, it would then overflow through the fuel tank vent hose, fill the evaporative emissions canister, and then through the purge line on the evaporative emissions canister, it would drip gasoline all over a hot engine while it's running. So we don't want to do that. So make sure that you return it to the yellow dot. And all these instructions are on the sticker on the side of the generator as to how to do it. At this point, You'd simply go ahead and pull the rope. If it's hot, it'll fire right up. If it's cold, you'd move it to the start position and fire it up, and then move it back to the yellow dot that we put on there. selector knob is pointed right to the yellow dot and it'll run off the remote tank as long as the remote tank has fuel in it. In order to 
shut the generator off. Get moving to where it shuts off the ignition system. So as you can see, it's straightforward, easy to use. If you have any questions whatsoever about the system, please look in the description section below. There's a link to my website. Go to my website and there's a page on this product. It should have any information that you want to know. If you have any additional questions, don't hesitate to call me. That's what I'm there for. I thank you for your time.